Veronica, we all do our own stem in different ways. My stem may look very different from yours, or there might be overlap zones. When do you do stem, and where are you when you do it? That is a very good question. I think we do STEM basically every day of our lives. We're four women entrepreneurs and all of us had, you know, wear different hats. One of them is Maria Jordan. She's basically a designer. Her daughter, you know, Gabriela, it's the one who runs all of the social media. My sister, who is a veterinarian, she's the one who does all of our website. And I do everything else in between regarding to, you know, uh, the business side. And what is interesting and fascinating is to see how STEM is embedded in everything that I'm mentioning right now. When Adela uh, um, or Maria Jordan is basically in her creative process, she has to not only come up with great ideas for us to be different, but she has to use different measurement, depth, um, uh, different um, materials, uh, different color schemes. So all of that is STEM related. From the business side, we're constantly changing from dollars to euros, from centimeters to um, inches. All of that is STEM. So we basically use STEM in every single aspect of our uh, creative process. So your business, obviously, I hear you say, I'm visualizing material science, scale and proportion, conversions, okay. so a lot of math, a lot of science, a lot of engineering, and a lot of art. So we live in a messy world. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And how about you, Koshi? When do you do STEM and where do you do it? You know, well, I'm always thinking about estimation and height. <laughs> and I love platform shoes for that reason. Um, so, I mean, I enjoy fashion. I enjoy accessories. And I think that Celebrating our girls, many of whom, like me, enjoy these, like you, I'm sure, enjoy these things, enjoy color, enjoy different ways of expressing their identity through fashion. Well, there's a lot of STEM in that. <laughs> <laughs>